Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and I just wanted to let you guys know that I am out with the girls. We came to our local oceanographic. It's like a sea world, like a little mini fish um, aquarium kind of place uh, for the kids and the adults. So, all right, we just arrived, and okay, let's go ahead and get our day started. Did you guys want to, um, did you guys want to be inside first? Yes. So I think she said they're doing the stingrays now. I know, but that's, that has the all covering. So I think we should go while they're out there letting you pet the stingrays. Yeah. Okay? We can always come back in here. So come on, let's go out. Be careful, it's still a little wet. Come on. You did. What are they doing? Like a, like a shutting not letting us pet them? My fix your shirt. Come on. Over. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. She'll, she'll show us what to do next. The lady will tell us what to do next. Ooh, I'm touching it. So their arm can't reach the bottom, put it in your and then their hand on top of yours. Oh. We want to present their hand for their breakfast that we can Hello. How are you guys doing today? Good. Have you seen dry so far? So far. Good job, guys. So mm -hmm. you guys stay here for a while. Hold still. Right. Have you fed the stingrays before? Yes, we have. You're professionals. You're yes. ready to go. <laughs> uh, and you know what to do? Just rinse off fingertip to elbows, come right back to me, and I'll give you food in these trays, okay? Okay. All right. Ooh. 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 Thank you so wanna, much. Uh-huh. Or we just take a bite. You don't want to just want to watch? You don't want to feed them? Yeah. Uh, okay. You don't want to feed them? Okay, you can just watch. If you have just want to watch. On the bottom of your tray, come on over. Hmm? No. I just want to watch. Wash up right here. Oh, okay. So remember, you want your hands flat down. Wait for them to come on top. Come on. You are a plate. When a plate gets set on the table, doesn't move. It's a little crowded. Let's go over here, guys. Come on. Come on. We so want to. So remember, you want your hands flat on the bottom, so that way they cannot swim underneath it. You'll just hang out right here for a second. Let's get some footage. Can't really see that well. Woo! See, you guys can sit down if you want and be careful. Stand around. Whichever one you want to do. I can't baby you. You're not babies. So once you have your food in this spot on the ledge, food goes in between the fingers and away it goes. Back up some. It's okay. We'll take those pieces of food. Oh, he's got food. And we'll replace them with new ones. Oh, she's got food too. Here you go. You're welcome. Ah, look at them things. So when you feel one kiss here, just let it go. Nice job. He's looking for the food, man. He's like, he eat. So remember, you want your hand flat on the bottom. On the bottom. Woo! Oh my goodness. Thank you too much. You sure? It feels like a big white kiss. <laughs> Thank you guys for participating in our training session and doing our 
start feeding. Just a few reminders that the rays like to eat from our hands, so we're not going to toss the food in. Also, right now is just feeding time, not touching time. Touching time will happen again at 11.30. Our next program will be right up the ramp, underneath the blue awning. That's our Game Fish the Boom feeding program. If you want to see the big fish in shark skin head, join us over there. We also have our invertebrate touch tank to meet and touch other animals. And you guys are doing a great job because we have passed out the last of our food. So if you still have food, keep those hands in the water. Hold them nice, flat, and still. Wow. Oh, you have someone coming to hand the trees, Miss Jessie. Oh, there you go, right in the bucket. Thank you, Grant. Oh, oh, oh. All the way down flat and hold still. Do you remember your hand is a plate? Plates go flat on a table. All the way flat down on the table. So if your little one can't reach the bottom, you can put the food in your hands and their hand on top. And that way it touches all the way down on the bottom. There's a window at the floor over here. Okay, you yeah. I call it Stingray TV. <laughs> Go ahead and do your hand sanitizer. Go ahead, Maya. You want to touch? You want to be touching? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put your hand. Okay. So your hand sanitized. Um. Okay. Say that at. Right here. Oh, okay. 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 Right. About ten. Yes. I'll just do some filming over there. I know that's where the sharks are at. Last time we came. Sharks. Yeah, the sharks. Did we get? A, wait, that, we're not allowed to touch the sharks, right? No, of course you can't get down in there. The tank's way down there. Remember? Good. The what? What's pretty cool? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah. Well, how many people we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well, yeah. Can I watch out? It's one of the ones. Let's go to where my is at. We are waiting to go into the touch tank. They're only allowing eight people at a time, so we are waiting. It's our turn. Hello. I wonder what that is right there. Is that like stuff you can buy to feed the um sharks? Because I want to go over there. We'll go in because they're coming out. We'll go in. Okay? Let's give them space to come out. Okay. Everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the touch tank. Go ahead, Janai. You sanitize your hands. We Go have ahead. Different animals in each arm of the sea star, Ooh. and we welcome to touch them. We want to use a one or two finger gentle touch, and we don't want to pick up anything or dig through the sand. Ooh. And as long as you're standing here, I think this is the best animal with the touch tank. Who knows what this is? Horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab. 100% right. He's like, leave me alone. And they're special because they are the oldest animal on earth. Wow. They go back about 425 million years. Ooh. How many years? 425 million. Wow. Give or take a year or two. Go ahead, Janaya. Don't be scared. You sanitize your hands so you can touch. <laughs> just kind of touch the top of the. I mean, come on. It's smooth. I'll film you. I'll record you touching it. Don't be scared. Yeah, pretty successful just like Yeah, just... How's it feel, Janaya? <laughs> Slimy? All right, let me show you what they look like underneath. Ooh, let me get that. Let me get that for you, too. Ten eyes, ten legs, and ten oh. gills. Oh. <laughs> He's like, tell me back over, please. When, when I turn them over, what do they look like underneath? Oh, you're what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got well, I'll tell you, they're not really yeah. a crab, even though they're called a crab. That's okay. They're actually related to spiders and scorpions. Spiders. Oh, they kind of look like that. See, she ain't scared to touch it, Janaya. Yeah. <laughs> she was just, she was not scared at all. Go ahead. It really won't hurt. Come on, I'll record it. Come on. Well, I guess we're just not ready for that yet. What? Okay, these are our sea urchins over here. Okay. This is called a variegated sea These look sea less urchin. scary. And these are called pencils. Okay, can I, you can touch the sea urchin now. Oh. Ew, it's a spike. It's a spiky. It looks like it has like cucumbers on its face, like it's in a spark. Uh-huh, shells. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's so Oh, wow, a rock. Let's go over there and touch those. What's the little, what, what are those? Those little... Those are called pencil sea urchins. You gonna touch it, Janaya? Yeah, it's, it's got a longer spine, but it's, it's very dull. Go ahead and touch it. You can touch it. You can touch it. Okay, it's over here to touch. Oh, ooh, one of those, oh, those cucumber things that they be eating on YouTube. Would they eat that stuff? They be eating them cucumber things on YouTube. Yeah, I can touch it. Yeah. I think it's a cucumber or something. What is it called? Florida sea cucumber. See, I told y'all. Ew. What? <laughs> you said you can touch it? Come on down here. Look at right here. This is the front. That's the face. See the little tentacles? Look at that. They actually take in sand and they pass it through their body. Clean any algae off it and then they poop out nice little pieces. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's what it sounds like he's saying. What is that? Jenna, how's it feel like? Mm, what is it? <laughs> Jenna, look at this little one. Just that little one. The little baby one. Okay, if you want to try it. Jenna, you gotta touch that one. I don't know if you can hear it. You wanna touch it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop poking it. How I feel tonight? Like slimy? Yeah. Um, oh, oh, we got the, um, what is, um, the, Mr. Krabs. The Krabs. Yeah, the little shellfish. Crab. In the shell. It's crab. You can touch it. It's a shell. I mean, but it's in there. Oh, I remember, I remember coming here last I want the little tiny ones. Look. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Little tiny ones. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I see one on the shell right here. Oh, look, Jenna. I have a shell. We're here? Yeah. You see the little legs? <laughs> yes. 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 She's like, leave <laughs> me alone, lady. Who's that down there? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that looks like some food somebody was feeding it. You see that? You gonna touch it, Janiah? You gonna touch it now? Go ahead. You can do it. Let me come. I'm coming over there to film this. Don't don't pick it up. Just rub the back. It's just it Go ahead. You can do it. Let me film it. It feels. How's it feel? Probably smooth. Yeah, it feels smooth. Yeah. How big do you think See? they're gonna get? I've seen those things on the Nature Channel. Those things are huge. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did yeah. you grow up oh, along look. the East Coast? Yep, yeah, we grew up right, born and raised here in Florida. Oh yeah. my goodness, I didn't notice touch. that. This one just moved. He just he what? Say he crawled right out of his shell. So he's kind of like a soft shell crab. Oh. And so his shell is still hardening up. So we're kind of letting him sleep it off today. Oh, oh okay. So we're getting this one to carry the bird. Oh. Wow, look at that guy. Now this is called the Telson. Yeah, doesn't they don't are they no. uh, related to the stingrays? No, stingrays uh, are fish. These are arthropods. Oh, well, you know what? You're right. They've got the hard shell, right? Right, right. That's why they're called an invertebrate. Mm. Uh, kind of the skeletons on the outside. Right, right. Now with the telson, it has no venom, and they don't use that to defend themselves. They don't use that tail at all. Nope. I'll tell you what they use it for. It's kind of like the tail of a kite. It stabilizes the animal. Mm-hmm like the stingrays tail. The other thing they use it for is if they get flipped upside down. Oh yeah, I saw that. that I've seen that on the Nature Channel. <laughs> but if you were to walk through the sand and shuffle your foot into the end of that tub, Oh yeah. yeah. But they they don't use it to stab something. Uh, cool. Now would you eat one? Oh, no way. Want to know what it tastes like? Oh, wait. Oh, you have? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, my wait. Have you ever put a penny in your mouth? Oh, yeah, yeah. We all uh, have. The copper penny. Taste? Like copper. Like, you know, like aluminum. Yeah, it tastes awful, right? Oh. But their blood is actually based on copper. Their blood is light blue oh. instead of red. Oh. So I think, yeah, other animals don't eat them because they taste Probably. Oh, it's crowded over there. Oh, they're probably That's eating the game fish. You don't want to mess that. Oh, okay. Let's go over. Um, Remember, don't pet the sharks. Uh, he said, don't pet the sharks. Um, we'll have to walk over that way. Come on. Come on. Go ahead, guys. You'll also see some southern stingrays in here. In our touch tank, we only oh. have one. But out here, we've got four southern stingrays that like to stick to the bottom of the tank. 
now. I know I wasn't going to spend too much time on the turtles. Yeah, so you guys can see. But huh. if you guys will look over where the water is going to be over there, I think there's a turtle that might come up to take a breath. Come on. See if we can Again, there are three in the main lagoon, so you got to play a little bit of ice by the spot, and I'll point them out if I can. Up. But let's move on. We talked about all these cartilaginous fish, so let's talk about these fish that have bony skeletons. The first ones that you'll see down below are going to be our tarpon. These are long, slender, silver fish. They have a forked or a peace sign shaped tail. They look like they're wearing a suit of armor. They're shiny silver color. Thank you. These tarpon can grow to be about as big as the sharks in here. Over 8 feet long, weighing over 200 pounds. Now the importance of this fish in our area, it's a highly recreational fish that's sought after. People like to catch these guys. Tarpon are big, huge animals that put up a really good fight when you go to catch them. So fishermen in the area are always trying to catch these tarpon. One cool thing about the tarpon is that they actually can come up and take a breath of air. Now they actually begin their lives in the mangrove forest. There is a mangrove growing off of the island right across from us and into the water. That mangrove is a red mangrove. How big it is. Red mangroves get their name because of the bright red color of their roots after a heavy rain. And this complex root system is a great sanctuary or refuge for smaller animals. Animals like our tarpon. Look at that thing. Unfortunately, the water doesn't move too, too quickly throughout that waterway there. Not a lot of oxygen is being turned over and generated. So these tarpon have changed over time. And now can come up to the surface and take a breath of air. So if you see any of those guys come up to the surface and then roll to one side, two small bubbles will escape. He just took a breath. How do these guys breathe if they're fish? Well, most fish have a body part called a swim bladder. It's basically like a balloon that's inside that helps with buoyancy or helps to control their swimming so they're not upside down or on their side or anything like that. Theirs is lined with blood vessels, so it gets to act like a lung. Yeah. All right, I think I've worn out the topic of the tarpon. So let's move on to some other fish in here. Let's talk about some brightly colored ones. Taking a look at the concrete structures in front of where Angelina was throwing the food, you'll see some small black and yellow striped fish. These fish are pretty small, they're about the size of the palm of your hand. And that is a sergeant major. Sergeant majors are pretty territorial. They like to keep to themselves and hang around those concrete structures. The ones you see down below, we call those our reef balls. We use them in our construction projects or restoration work down in the estuary. Now, unfortunately, in our part of Florida, we dealt with some pretty serious algae-related issues, and we also get influxes of freshwater from Lake Okeechobee. That's turned up a lot of the water, led to a lot of species die-off, and things such as that. So we help with restoration projects in our estuary, and I just wanted to point out those concrete structures for those reef balls. Thanks! Now, there is another brightly colored fish that swims around those structures. Oh, my goodness. Yellow fish that has Woo! two black stripes on either side of its face. That fish is called a pork fish. Pork fish are pretty funny to me. They're part of the grunt family, and they get their name the pork fish because they grunt like a grunting pig. <laughs> They're not the only fish.